interested, Professor. Well, perhaps we can demonstrate it for Miss Totten. Yes, let's demonstrate it. Oh, I don't think that would be the logical yes. thing to That's do. That's a I... very good idea. Oh, please, please do. I'd love to hear it. Well, all right, gentlemen, if you please. Yes, let's right. do it. Now, Miss Totten, imagine the setting in an island courtship. There's a vacant hut, the nuptial hut, all bedecked with flowers. And nearby, the maiden awaits the arrival of her lover. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, Professor Audley, you will be the maiden. But, uh, Professor Frisbee, I... I... Audley. Uh, must I, Professor Frisbee? If you will just stand over there, Audley, please. Now, Miss Totten, as the lover approaches from the opposite side of the village, he is laden down with gifts, and the beating of the drum signalizes the beginning of the courtship. As he comes near the village, his relatives take up the drumming. Then he spies the maiden and calls to her, and she answers. Professor, would you give us the mating call, please? That's the mating call. Now, imagine I'm coming around the corner of the hut. That was quite adequate for the recording, but I feel the air of reality is somewhat strained here. Well, Professor Frisbee, I didn't want to do it anyway. Well, I know that, oddly, but uh, Professor, I... perhaps I could... Uh, very well, if you will just stand here, Miss Totten. Right. And when I give you the mating call... Yes? You give it right back to me. Now, imagine I'm coming around the corner of the same hut. I'm afraid, Miss Totten, you'll have to employ a great deal more abandon, both in voice and posture. Oh, I neglected to tell you about the posture. It's the native position being somewhat more like this. And it has a... a, a, a yes, that's fine, Miss Totten. Now, imagine I'm coming around the corner of the hut. Considerable improvement. Now, more abandoned, Miss Totten. Yes. Now, as the man nears the maiden, the beat of the drums intensifies. The fever of the music has entered into his blood. His nostrils are distended and his eyes agleam. And the singing goes on like this. Yeah! Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Miss Totten. I'm merely assuming the role of the lover and you the role of the maiden. I, if, uh, oh, oh, this uh, call is the lover's greeting, and uh, it is accomplished by the diaphragmatic pressure so necessary to the primitive sound uh, in this fashion. Would you try that, Miss Totten, please? Oh, that's very good, Miss Totten. You... Seem to have caught the spirit quite well now. Now, would you try that once with me? Miss Totten, I, I 
don't like to interrupt, but you've caught the spirit extremely well, Miss Totten. Now, from this point on, the dance just continues until the lover takes the maiden in his arms and carries her away. But I don't think there's any point in demonstrating that. Oh, it was wonderful. I, hmm? Simply wonderful. Oh, Miss Totten, I thought you decided... I liked it. I liked it. Yes, oh, Miss Professor, Totten. the work of the Foundation must continue. Well, I, I'll uh, see to that. Miss Totten, have... you forgot your... Oh, thank you. ...bag. Oh, oh, goodbye, Professor. Uh, goodbye. And thank you. Mm. I enjoyed every second of it. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Totten, you know that your previous intention... Uh, 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 Most amazing... Uh, uh.